Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love and general situationship that reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is for the Leo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you, Leo. What can I get for you? What is the message for Leo in your weekly reading? Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Leo, I also invite you to please be part of our mailing list. That can be done by the website. Okay, so if you want to join our mailing list, um, please go towards the website. In our website, uh, you will also see the setting intention candle. This is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free birth chart reading. So if you haven't had a birth chart reading, please check it out because it's come. it comes free for every purchase of the setting intention candle. This is free shipping worldwide. It comes with a tracking number. And if you want to know how to use this in your setting intention, new moon, full moon, or daily, um, if you want to include it in your daily spiritual practice or routine, um, go towards the website, how to use it, or the instruction on how to use it, it's in there, okay? And also, please be very vigilant and mindful, Vir sorry, I just finished Virgo, um, Leo, because... Um, I've just been advised that there is a fake account in IG lurking around, adding people. So um, that's not me. So please make sure that you're connecting to the right IG account. And if you've been added by someone, by somebody, that's not me. I really, really suggest please to report and block. Okay, so they they would stop. I feel like it's... It's, it's it's an ongoing problem in the tarot community here in YouTube that we're being attacked by trolls. So to stop them, block, report. Okay, and thank you in advance for doing that for me. And so we start your reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. Okay, all right. So you've got the Nine of Wands. You've got the Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like your situation is that... Um, it was a missed opportunity, okay? It made, it made you sad. It could be a big contract, you know. It could be a big money, a big contract. Something something that you really wish to happen. Um, you wanted things to happen. You want things to, uh, you know, come into fruition. I feel like it's just so sad that um, it didn't went on. You know, it didn't proceed. You know, Nine of Wands. You're really hoping. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Look at that. You were really hoping and expecting that it would um, it would take place, that it would hit the ground running. It could be project, it could be money, it could also be love. Um, you have you gave your best to the situation. Cause right now you're nine of wands. The first card is a nine of wands. I feel like you're tired. You're tired. Um, this person's situation offer whatever you're working in the past, whatever you've been working in the past. You gave your best and um, it is not about you. It's just about what the requirement is not matched to, let's say, um, to the situation. Okay. Um, Ace of Wands, I feel like you need to, you know, give yourself a break. You know, you've worked so hard or you, something tells me five of cups, you're quite drained emotionally. You put a lot of work. Or investment in terms of emotional mental or an actual work for a specific project you know you're quite tired okay your your vitality is low Leo I don't see a roar in here and um, yes yeah, seven of wands you know we cannot control everything in our life we just really have to deal one step at a time you know I feel like something has maxed you out in terms of work, career, finance, or maybe relationship, you know, your, you know, your chi, your yin yang is not balanced. Your chi, four of wands, it could be related to uh, a relationship or something to do with stability that you're working on that it didn't come into fruition. Eight of Pentacles, um, I feel like you're being advised by the universe, Leo, to full stop. 
full stop into making an effort, full stop into thinking, what really happened? Where did I fail? What did I do? You know, um, this is a time of, you know, this is, this is a very important time for you to reflect and, um, we can never go back to the past. We can only really just learn from the lesson and look at it as an experience. Okay. That journey is finished and it is really, really important for you. You, you need to make a decision, um, Leo, to look after yourself because I really feel like in here, you're quite low in terms of projecting a new project, a new person, a new situation because you're still somehow connected in the past that drains you. You're energetically, like there's a leech that's, you know, something is taking your energy, that optimism, that the sunny side of you, that, that glow in you, it's being taken away by a thought, a feeling, a draining thought, feeling, expectation from the past. It's time for you, Eight of Wands, to put all of your effort to rejuvenate. You know, this is a very big week for us. We've got new moon in Aquarius and, and we've got new moon in Aquarius and then we've got also the lunar new year or the Chinese new year. So this is a very auspicious time or a lucky time for you, Leo, to Eight of Wands. Get your power back. Like, you know, really recuperate, reju rejuvenate and get your strength back together. You know, life doesn't end with this failure or this reject rejection or this missed opportunity. This is just one part or this is, I'd say, part of our journey. There's something in here that you have enjoyed that it has, you know, it has every experience, most especially if it's, if it's not a good one, it normally leaves us with a learning and a lot of maturity. In this situation, you've learned so much. You have matured as a person. Now it's time to apply the learning from that. Before, because I really feel like you've got a new cycle and to, to, to project a new cycle, you know, project a new cycle or to connect with new offers, you've got to get your strength back together. You know? Um, there is, ooh, this is interesting. There is an important message for you, Leo. Because the death card in reverse, there was a missed opportunity. Not this one, okay? Um, there is a person or a missed opportunity in the past that will return. Not this one, okay? Not this one. The death card. It's, it's a missed opportunity around around the month of October, November. There was a missed opportunity around the month of October, November. Let's put it this way, September, October, November, December. There was a missed opportunity and I'm not talking about this one. And um, this will return. This missed opportunity, it will return. When you were connected or processing or involved in this project offer person, you were different. After this, you are going to be a different person. You know, like whatever this is, Leo, it will transform you into a different person emotionally, mentally. Okay. You have learned so much from this emotionally, mentally. So you need to recharge. You need to look after yourself, your vitality, because you've got a new cycle. And that new cycle is connected to a missed opportunity in around September, October, November, December. This is a big one. You know, it doesn't come back to you uh, for the sake of coming back. It is real, Page of Swords. It is like, um, it's it's um, it's the first one, um, what I call this? Come up, Cause I'm hearing the word playground, you know? This is really good. You know, after, after the rain comes a Page of Swords. A striking hot new opportunity that you were, I'd say, dealing in the past. It 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 wasn't meant to happen last year. Now it returned, and it returned just in time for you, because 
after this failure, you will become a different person. You have a learning. So you need as much as possible to power up, to go back and be and feel yourself again. You know, uh, you need to feel yourself again. Take care of your mental wellness. You have to do some inner work, some reflection, because the world is waiting for you to return, Leo. This is waiting for you. There is a striking hot opportunity waiting for you after this. Okay? So it is good that you pull yourself together, get your power back, and connect to the world because we are waiting for you. This one is specifically waiting for you. It was made for you. It so happened that you were a different person last year. This one taught you a lesson. You are, you are different now. Your energy after recuperating from this, it's in line with this. Okay? So, enjoy. I'm hearing the word enjoy. So, this is your reading, Leo. Enjoy what's next for you. May you really find the time to reflect and to connect with yourself and be and feel and be connected with yourself again feel alive again because we are waiting for you to return this person is waiting for you situation is waiting for you and i'll see you soon uh, this is what i got for you thank you for being here and you have a good day bye bye